In MathCAD, you can perform symbolic evaluation. That is, you can solve different mathematical expressions in terms of variables as opposed to solving them numerically. Let's take a look at some examples to show you how this works. We'll start out with the quadratic formula, which you probably learned back in junior high school. And so we're going to write our formula with coefficients a, b, and c, and a variable x. So let's write a times x, then I'll use shift 6 to get the exponent squared. Then I'll use the right arrow to move over and then plus b times x plus c. And so there are a few different ways in MathCAD that you can solve this, but if you want to solve this symbolically, you can go to the symbolics dropdown and underneath the operators, here we have symbolic evaluation. In the tooltip, you can see that the keyboard shortcut is control and the period. Let's click on the icon. And right now it's just giving us the same expression over on the right hand side. If we want to solve this, we'll add the solve keyword. If I go to symbolics, here we have our keywords and this one is for solve. I will click on that and then we'll use the comma and say what we want to solve this in terms of. And this will be the variable x. And then I will click outside of this uh, expression and we get it evaluated. And at first you might look at this and say, hey, that's not the old solution that I'm used to. Well, it's just written a little differently. Normally you'll see this expressed as negative b and then plus or minus, and you have your square root and usually it's b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So this is the same thing, just written in a slightly different formula. Now let's take a look at some calculus. We'll start off with some derivatives that we will evaluate symbolically. Let's go to the operators dropdown. And here we have the derivative. The keyboard shortcut is control shift and D. Let's click on the command and then I'm going to type in X as my variable. And then you can choose which derivative that you want to get. I'm just going to go with the first derivative. And then in the placeholder, let's put our quadratic expression. I will use the parentheses and then let's do A times X and then shift six for the exponent squared and then right arrow plus B times X and then plus C. And let me move over to the right and then to evaluate, let's go to symbolics and then symbolic evaluation. And that is equal to 2AX plus B. Okay, let's take a look at another one, operators and then derivative. And for this one, let's do the derivative with respect to x of sine of x. So I'll type in sin parentheses x, and then we can go to symbolics and then evaluation. That's equal to cosine of x. And now let's do one more, uh, but let's do it manually. Let's go to operators and then ddx. And for this one, I'll move over to the placeholder. Let's do the derivative of a and then shift six for the exponent to the x. And then let's use control and period. And that is equal to the natural log of a times a to the x. And finally, let's do some different integrals and solve them symbolically. So let me position over here and let's go to the operators drop down and then I will go to the integral and let's do the integral. I'm not going to put any uh, limits in here. I'm just going to move over to the placeholder for the expression. Let's do the integral of a times x and then I'll do shift six for the exponent n and let's move over and I'll do this in terms of X. I will go to the symbolics and then 
hit the symbolic evaluation. And we can see that that is equal to a times x to the n plus 1, all divided by n plus 1. Let's do another one. Let's go to operators. And here is the integral once more. This one is control shift i. And let's do the integral without any limits. Let's do the integral of moving over to the placeholder, 1 divided by x, and then moving over, to, and then type in x. Let's go to symbolics, evaluation. That's equal to the log of x. And for the last one, let's do operators, and then integral. And I'm going to do, let's do secant, and then I'll do theta. And for theta, if you go to your symbols, that would be this one over here. And that's the letter Q. And then the keyboard shortcut control G will convert it to Greek. And I'll use that when I do D of theta. So let's do secant of theta. And I want secant squared, so I'm going to highlight everything. And then shift 6 for the exponent squared and then move over using the arrow keys to the placeholder. And I'll do Q, control G. And now to evaluate it, I'll once more use the keyboard shortcut, control and period, and that is equal to the tangent of theta. So in that way, you can see that we can perform our different symbolic evaluation, including solving and derivatives and integrals.